Physicists think the universe started with the Big Bang about 13.7 billion years ago. But what caused that explosion and why? We've been studying this for ages, and the Big Bang has been the go-to explanation for everything we see. Loads of studies and scientists back it up dark energy, even bigger than regular galactic energy, is thought to be this anti-gravity thing that keeps the universe expanding since the Big Bang. Science has come a long way, and with new tech, new ideas pop up all the time. Sometimes, what we thought was true isn't. Mishoku is saying the Big Bang might be bumped because the James Webb Telescope found 750 new galaxies that look nothing like what we expected. This changes things and makes us think harder about how the telescope is changing our view of the universe. Want to explore these new galaxies with us? Subscribe to stay updated. Like this video and share it around. The telescope's pictures of these galaxies are mind-blowing. You can see hundreds in one shot. But what's amazing regular people is freaking out scientists. There are way more galaxies than expected, and they're smaller and older. This is causing a bit of panic among scientists. These galaxies just don't fit the old theories. For ages, the Big Bang was the main story for how the universe began, a big cosmic event around 13.7 billion years ago. But these new images mess with that story. The galaxies look too small, smooth, old, and numerous compared to what the Big Bang predicts. They are way smaller than similar galaxies Hubble took pictures of, which doesn't make sense if the universe is expanding like the Big Bang says. Instead of being messy, these galaxies are super smooth. That's weird because, according to the Big Bang, they should have bumps and stuff. The Big Bang says everything was squished into this tiny point, a singularity. The heat there would have been insane. That's where everything started. After that point, the universe started expanding super fast, cosmic inflation. Then it slowed down, but it's still expanding. Scientists see this because light from far off galaxies shifts to red. All the stuff in the universe was packed super tight, but as things cooled down, particles started interacting and making matter. That happened in the first few minutes after the Big Bang. They expected to see messy galaxies, but the telescope is showing us well-organized spirals, like the galaxies we see today. If these new galaxies haven't crashed into each other much, then they probably didn't grow from tiny galaxies, which is what we thought. Plus, the optical illusion of the expanding universe isn't holding up. Basically, what we thought we knew might be wrong. The telescope is also showing us galaxies that are older and more abundant than the Big Bang says they should be. Hope you liked the video. Hit like, share, and subscribe for more updates on what the James Webb Telescope is finding and how it's changing how we see the universe. As scientists look at the telescope's data, they're coming up with new ideas that might replace or change the Big Bang Theory. Some think the universe is steady or goes through cycles of expansion and contraction. Others are thinking about quantum gravity or extra dimensions to explain the universe's start. We're at the start of something new in how we study the universe. The telescope's discoveries are shaking things up and opening doors for new ideas in physics, astronomy, and even philosophy. Questions we thought were just thought experiments, like whether the universe had a start or will end, are now things we can actually study. It reminds us that science changes. What we think is true today might be wrong tomorrow. As long as we keep asking questions, we'll keep learning. When we look deeper into space, we're looking back in time. The light from those galaxies has been traveling for billions of years, showing us what the early universe was like. But what we're seeing doesn't match what the Big Bang said it would, so scientists are rethinking things. Maybe the Big Bang isn't totally wrong, but we don't fully get how galaxies formed. Maybe it happened faster or under different conditions. Or we might be seeing new forces or particles we didn't know about. Even cosmic inflation, which was supposed to fix problems with the Big Bang, is being questioned. If galaxies formed early and smooth, then inflation might have happened differently or not at all. This has brought back interest in other ideas, like the universe starting from colliding dimensions or going through endless cycles. New tech in telescopes and data analysis is helping us get better info. Machine learning is helping us find patterns in the data. 
These tools could help us figure out what the telescope is showing us and come up with new theories. We're in for a big change in astrophysics. The James Webb Telescope's finds aren't just science news. They're making us rethink our place in the universe, time, space, and reality. As we wait for more study, we need to stay open-minded. Science is about questioning and learning. The universe doesn't have to fit our theories. Our theories need to fit the universe. Science has changed a lot, and new tech brings new ideas. Sometimes stuff we thought was totally true turns out not to be. Mishoka says the Big Bang might be wrong because the James Webb Telescope found 750 new galaxies that don't look how they should. This makes us rethink how the telescope is changing what we know about the universe. Stick around as we check out these new galaxies discovered. If you want to stay updated on space news, subscribe, like the video, share it, and hit the bell. The telescope's pictures of the new galaxies are amazing. One pic can have hundreds of galaxies. But what blows regular people away is the opposite of what excites scientists. Researchers are shocked because these pics don't match their theories. There are way more galaxies than there should be, and they're smaller and older than expected. This is making scientists sweat. One article even starts with the word panic, which shows how serious it is. These galaxies are not what they're supposed to be, based on what we thought we knew. For a while, scientists have said the Big Bang is how the universe got here, about 13.7 billion years ago. But these new pictures question that story. The galaxies are too small, smooth, old, and there are too many of them, based on the Big Bang idea. They're two or three times smaller than what the Hubble Space Telescope saw, which messes up the idea that stuff should look bigger as the universe grows. Those observations from James Webb do not show galaxies that do not meet that expectation. Plus, they're too smooth. The Big Bang says galaxies should look messy, but these ones are really smooth. It doesn't fit how we thought galaxies formed over time. At the start, everything was squeezed into one tiny spot, a singularity. It was super dense, with crazy pressure and heat. That point was the start of the universe. After the singularity, the universe started to grow really fast, which is called inflation. It made the universe what it is today. As the universe got bigger, it slowed down a bit. We can see it growing because light from far away galaxies stretches out. Everything was squished together, and matter had to change as the universe grew and cooled. Particles started to mix with light and energy. That's how matter formed. Scientists thought they'd see messy galaxies because of collisions, but the telescope shows galaxies that look organized, like the ones we see now. It makes it less likely that galaxies grow bigger by smashing together. It also means that these galaxies were never small to begin with. Plus, the optical illusion, which claims that the universe should make objects smaller, is wrong. So, what we've thought is actually wrong. Also, how old the galaxies are and how many there are goes against the Big Bang Theory. The telescope can see infrared light, which helps scientists figure out how old stars and galaxies are. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please consider hitting the like button, share this video to get to more people and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss our upcoming videos. Scientists are using all the data from the telescope to come up with new ideas. Maybe the Big Bang isn't the whole story. Some people think the universe goes through cycles of growing and shrinking. Others are thinking about quantum physics or ideas with extra dimensions to come up with a different creation stories other than a single big boom. What's sure is that we're entering a whole new time for figuring out the cosmos. The discoveries are shaking things up and could change how we think about everything from space to math to big questions about existence. Think about it. How we see deep space is how we look into the past. The beam needs billions of years to get in time and space and even the definition of reality itself. As we wait for more info, let's be open to new ideas. Science grows when we stay curious and question things. The universe doesn't care about our theories. Our theories need to keep up with the universe. These images mess with what we thought we knew. These galaxies are too small, smooth, old, and there are too many of them. They're two or three times smaller than what Hubble saw, which is weird. 
As the universe grows, stuff should look bigger, right? But these galaxies don't. Plus, they're too smooth. The Big Bang says galaxies should be messy, but these are smooth as anything. That messes with the timeline of how galaxies are supposed to form. At the start, everything was squished into a tiny point called a singularity. It was so dense, the heat was nuts. That point was the seed for the whole universe. After the singularity, the universe started to expand, super fast. This is called cosmic inflation. It smoothed everything out and helped galaxies and stars form. The universe kept growing, but slower. We can see it happening because light from far off galaxies is stretched out. Everything in the universe was crammed into a tiny space. Transformations happened as the universe expanded and cooled. Particles began to interact with the light and energy around them. The most basic elements were created. Instead of messy galaxies, the James Webb Space Telescope saw well-organized disks and spirals, just like today's galaxies. This means that galaxies didn't become larger from being multiple galaxies combining into one. The illusion shown of objects seeming smaller due to the expanding universe hypothesis is also not true in this case. The age and amount of galaxies seen by the James Webb Space Telescope also challenges the Big Bang. I hope you this video. If so, don't forget to hit the like button share this video to reach more people and subscribe to the channel so you won't miss our next update. As scientists look at all the data from the James Webb Space Telescope, they're coming up with new ideas. Some think the universe might be steady or go in cycles. Others are checking out stuff like quantum gravity or multidimensional stuff. We're at the start of something new in how we look at the universe. It's making us question what we thought we knew and creating places for new ideas in physics, astronomy, and even philosophy. It's also an example of what science is, it is constantly updating. As we look into space, we're seeing the past. The light from those galaxies took billions of years to get here, but it doesn't match the Big Bang model. It's making scientists rethink what they thought. Some say the Big Bang isn't totally wrong, but we don't fully understand how galaxies form. Maybe it happens faster or differently than we thought. Others think there might be forces or particles we don't know about. Cosmic inflation, which was supposed to fix problems with the Big Bang, is now being questioned. If galaxies happen quicker, it could mean inflation was different or didn't happen. This is making people interested in other ideas like the epidatic model, universes bumping into each other, and Roger Penrose's cyclic cosmology, universe dies and is reborn. The new data is giving these theories attention. New tech in telescopes and data analysis is helping us get more info, too. Machine learning is finding patterns and anomalies in the data. We're going through a big change in astrophysics. The James Webb Space Telescope is making us think about where we fit in the universe. We need to stay open-minded. Science is all about questioning and figuring things out. The universe doesn't have to fit our theories. We need to change our theories to fit the universe.